Okay, so real quick, to take off your pump, you got four hoses here. You got one, two, three, four, and you actually have this big one on the back, five. Okay, your pump's gonna sit in here like this. It's gonna sit in here, you're gonna have an exhaust that runs from right there and around and down, okay? In order to do all this, I had to change out this bushing right here. You have to pull this flywheel housing cover. <clears throat> I have my crane hooked up to hoist it up to take all these off. So the first procedure is take off your hoses. You can undo this, your fuel tank line sits up here, and do it and pull it out of the way. Then you're gonna undo all your hoses. I undid this one. You're gonna undo four of them here. One, two, three, four. You got four there and five. You're gonna do your five hoses. You're gonna undo those. Um, get your exhaust pipe completely taken out of the way. It goes from right here down to here. Go ahead and just take that off. It's gonna look like that with your muffler. Take all that off. You're gonna have to hoist up your engine. So I'm using here in a clevis with my crane, the block of wood to keep it away from the glass. Go ahead and lift it up and you're gonna undo these. Pull that up and then this is very simple right here. You're gonna undo that and pull it off. This is what happened. This right here got burned up. So you got two, three bolts in there that holds that on. And this, your pump, your hydraulic pump splines as they sit right there, actually run down right inside of there and it's got a rubber bushings all the way around it. Well, that's what burned up. So that's what I changed. And you're gonna have to put everything back in the same way that you, in the same order you took it out. So if these hoses will be the last to take out. When you're putting this on, leave this hose undone and all these hoses undone and there's two plugs on this pump. There's a plug there and right here that you're gonna want to undo to bleed. You want to make sure that this pump has hydraulic fluid in it before you keep going and then cycle it through and watching your sight glass on your hydraulic tank making sure that the air bubbles get worked out and that it has significant amount of hydraulic fluid to keep the machine running. So that's how it is. This is step two of the procedure of changing a coupler on your Mini X305 5E CAT.